East Idaho, Ivy and Nevada Street Reconstruction and Robbinsdale Park Reconstruction, RCS Construction Incorporated. Master Craftsman Superintendent Perry Vandesteeg and Joel Williams. Craftsman Marcus Roth, Steve Patridge, Matt O'Day, Monty Weger, Larry Davis, James McDaniel, Keith Harder, and Chris Burks. This project covered an extremely wide range of work from street and utility reconstruction of four city blocks, including water, storm, and sanitary sewer, as well as asphalt and concrete surfacing. The Robbinsdale Park reconstruction portion of the project included 100,000 yards of grading to increase the size of the existing detention cell by 150%. It also included a box culvert, several massive port-in-place concrete storm water control structures, a mile-long asphalt walking path, and three Little League baseball fields, as well as a design-build BMX track and concession building. The park portion of the job covered over 26 acres of the Robbinsdale Park. Three days after the park was turned over to the owner and opened up to the public, a 100-year rain event hit Rapid City and was concentrated over southern Rapid City. Stormwater pipes were at 100% capacity and over two feet of water was running down East Fairlane Drive, dumping directly into the detention cell. The force of the water sent tons of debris, garbage, and even a car into the cell. Fortunately, Perry Van de Steeg thought to drive by the job site and check on the cell. When he arrived, he found the cell was at full capacity and discharging over the emergency spillway. It was determined the safest way to lower the pond level would be to remove the trash grates. Perry decided to attach a 20-foot I-beam between the bucket and the thumb of the excavator to increase our reach. Perry and his crews attempt to dislodge the grate for several hours without success on Friday night. Early Saturday morning, crews came back and were able to successfully remove the trash grates. Once that was completed, the pond quickly receded to a safe level. RCS would like to thank all of our craftsmen on this project who were key to its success, especially Perry Vandesteeg and Joel Williams.